Hi guys and welcome to today's video where we are talking all things mole removal. Now I've had four moles removed in the past. These are from my wrist, from the top of my arm, from my face and from the other side of my arm. I've had these removed with excision and that means cutting the mole off of the top of the skin to remove the pigment. Three of the four moles have remained fine, they healed perfectly, look beautiful, you wouldn't even know they were there in the first place. The fourth one however was the largest of all my moles and some of the pigment did come back through after healing. So I went to see Dr. Ross Perry at Cosmetics Skin Clinic in Harley Street in London today and I had two moles removed in two very different ways. Treating the mole on my arm, which was previously removed with an excision, because the pigment began to come through again, this time we used a freezing method, which is something I hadn't experienced before. With a colour? Mm -hmm. There we go. I then had a mole removed on the side of my face with an excision. So I'm going to show you the video of it now so that you know exactly what is involved. There is a local anaesthetic used in the face. This means that the area is entirely numb for treatment. The mole is shaved with a razor and then cauterized to close off the blood vessels. It's covered with a dressing. Within seven to 10 days, it's healed beautifully and I can remove the dressing, uh, making sure that I wear a minimum of factor SPF 30 in the sunshine. All this does is it just gives a little numbing to the area. You can see it's a tiny needle. It just goes in under the skin. And it'll be numb in about a minute. Yeah, good. This is nice and quick mm -hmm. and simple. So it's literally just the planes off. Very superficially, so the beauty of this is we can just take it as thin as we want. Gone. As you can see, there's very little left in terms of bleeding. So the little bits that are just cauterized. You can then cover this. There we go, and you can then put makeup over the top of this. Amazing. <laughs> you wouldn't even know you'd had anything done. Yay! With large moles that have a big surface area, sometimes you can cut the moles out. This is normally avoided cosmetically as it leaves a scar from the stitching. The idea from today's treatments was to have the pigment removed from my moles so that actually my skin appears as neutral and natural as possible keeping scarring to a very minimum, which you wouldn't have been able to have done if you were to cut the mole out. So we're just taking the surface of the mole away and allowing the skin to heal underneath. The moles will heal in seven to 10 days. In this time, they will be slightly different because of the methods used. On my face with the excision, the mole will heal like a graze, as if you have cut your skin. Whereas on my arm with the freezing, this mole will heal as if it's been blistered and burnt. And surprisingly, I didn't think I had that many moles, but the things that I deem to be freckles on my arms are actually moles. They are just a different type. So it's a very natural thing for people to have moles. If you think a mole may be changing or irritable, if it's itchy or bleeding, always consult your doctor. I had these treatments today for a cosmetic purpose. I wanted to have them removed because they were large and brown, but equally there was nothing dangerous about my moles. Go into a professional skin clinic, you can have all of the advice you need. It's a very quick and minimally invasive treatment. And as you can see from this video, it takes around 10 minutes with very little discomfort. So I hope you have found this video helpful if you are considering having a mole removed. I absolutely love the fact that I've had two moles removed that were in an area of my body where I felt quite self-conscious about them. And the difference it makes to your confidence if you have something that's on your face or your body that you, you catch or feel self-conscious of, to be able to remove it safely and securely, it's our personal choice whether we choose to do so or not. 
I'm very, very happy with the results and I can't wait to show you what it looks like when it's fully healed. I think for people who are concerned about having moles removed, it's really nothing to worry about. I didn't feel a thing because there was anaesthetic used and the whole process from start to finish took around five to 10 minutes per mole. That's including the consultation, the treatment and dressing the wound afterwards. So now I can carry on going about my day as my skin heals. With the bandage dressings that I have, I'm able to put makeup on top of them so that nobody would ever know that I've had anything done. I'm expecting redness, swelling and blistering for the first few days. And this will subside, showing me the beautiful clear skin beneath. I am writing a blog on this where I will show the healing process of my moles, show you the before and after pictures. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment box below and I will see you all soon. Take care. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel, write me a comment and keep watching for more.